He drove back home and after dinner told his wife and eight children that he was giving everything away and no longer would he work for money. But from now on... I want to be the father to the fatherless. I would like to help those people who are completely hopeless and restore hope and the peace and the love of God into their lives. Esther Mully, Charles's wife. I told him, why can't you work? Then you can give money to the people who take care for the children. And he told me, no, God told me to go and to, to work, to see those kids, then I work with them. And I found out what is their problem in the street. The very next day, Charles and Esther opened their home and their hearts to three street kids, as Charles would spend days on the streets getting to know those that call it home. Yeah, many of the children, um, as you uh, may be aware about HIV AIDS in, 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 in Africa, especially also in Kenya, has been a big problem to many families when uh, the families are affected the kids are affected more. They find an alternative to go to the street to beg. But reaching there, they find quite opposite because people are there, they mistreat them, beat them, and then they have to feed themselves from the, the dustbins, you know, scavenge, you know, from the dustbins, and that's the way of life that they are able to, uh, to live in. But for Charles and Esther's eight biological children, who had lived privileged lives, the thought that they would have to share their home with strangers was hard to understand. They were spending so much time with the children, hardly time with us because they had given everything to the children. And um, dad would come back in the dead of night um, after being in the streets the whole day. He'd come back and he'd have lice on him and he'd have a skin disease. But we learned to accept it. After we matured enough to understand what was the cause of it all, what was in my parents' hearts, then we saw the vision and we took up the vision um, to do what the Lord has destined to do. And today, six out of Charles and Esther's eight biological children work with their parents. Now called the Mully Children's Family, they have for the past 20 years rescued over 6,000 children from the streets. And with your support, Crossroads Missions has helped Charles and Esther provide housing, food, clothes, and education, even supporting their sustainability project of growing their own food. It's an honor to, to partner with Charles Mully, who's, you know, kind of given up everything so that he could follow God's will for his life and reach kids that would have no hope. All of these kids on the stage, I mean, without uh, God speaking through Charles, uh, to set up a home, they would never be rescued and their lives would be uh, wasted. So wonderful to see how uh, a good partnership uh, can affect so many lives over so many years, just wonderful. Currently, 2011 children live at six of the facilities run by Charles and his staff. A far cry from the early days when he and his family were housing hundreds of kids in their own home. I opened uh, an education department where I could help them to learn how to write, to read, to read the Bible as well, Bible stories and uh, uh, about mathematics, geography, history, so much. And then the work started again with education. I built uh, a primary school, built a secondary school, and built a vocational training, and they kept on expanding up to this day. Grace Chiach is one of those young people who was rescued years ago and now sings with the Mully Children's Family Mission Choir. I was born in a family of six children with a single mom. My mother was very poor and she was jobless, she was illiterate, so she could not get any job to provide for us the basic needs that a child could need at home. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we used to go many days without food, shelter was a problem, so life was very hard. I had to take glue and marijuana, I thought those drugs could reduce the stress that I had, but it all, all it was in vain. And it was in the year 1998, that's when I went to the street. And in the year 1999, Mr. Muli came to the street, he rescued me, and that's why I joined Muli Children Family. This morning to be in 17 year old Timothy Mwangala, one of the group's acrobats, was also forced to live on the streets of Kenya for years before being rescued. 
my mother gave birth to me from the act of prostitution. So I don't know my real biological father. Mm. And my mom was very harsh because it, it was just like a bad luck to give birth to me. Mm. She used to mistreat me so much. Sometimes she could bring men in the house and whenever she bring men, she chased me out of the room so that she can continue with her business. So life was very difficult because we, I also lacked food. In the year 2005, our dad, Mr. Charles Molly, rescued me to be in the Molly children's family. Now both members of one of the 15 choirs Charles and Esther has been able to create, Timothy and Grace, along with 18 of their brothers and sisters, are currently touring Canada, sharing stories of hope and redemption something that might not have been possible without your support and the vision God gave Charles over 20 years ago. Anybody in this world given a chance to live or to exercise that freedom or being able to get opportunity to grow, to go to school, he can or she can do as much as others. To find out more about the Mully family and where you can see the Mully Children's Choir, go to our website at crossroads.ca. In Welland, Ontario, Magdalene John, 100 Huntley Street. Uh -huh.